Hello and welcome to another JDS Meow Kitty gaming video. This video we're going to be going through day 5 and 6 of the Invictus launch week. So previously we had the Misk Mariah Crusader, then it was the Aegis Dynamics, and now it is the Anvil Aerospace. So we'll head up into the gallery, go on the lift, or the convention center, as I read the panel there. And we are greeted by the Anvil Aerospace hologram. We'll head over here and we'll check out the display on the side here. It's always fun watching the, the ads that have been put up there to show off all the ships. We have the Anvil Arrow taking on a Cutty. Cutlass Black. I'm not particularly a fan of Arrow, mostly because everyone that does PvP just flies around in the Arrow. They tend to anyway. I like to try to mix it up. Shooting star across the middle. Nice looking background. Oh, sorry, galaxy or whether it be nebula. That'd be a pretty good view from the planet. You got the trees there. Almost looks like you're underwater with that plant on the left there. Well, there's some, some pretty big trees. I haven't seen anything that big in the game yet. It's a very unusual alien wheat. <laughs> yeah, showing off some a ground vehicle there. It'd be good when they introduce something like that into the game. Do a bit of rock climbing. Crystals growing there. Glow worms hanging from the ceiling. had to climb anything that high before with the amount of times that I've fallen off while trying to climb up an edge I don't think I'd want to be climbing up that high <laughs> now what ship do we have now ah the Carrick got a Pisces yeah, Pisces landing in the hangar. There's the captain's desk. Into the pilot seat in the middle. I hope he's got a crew, because uh, you can't fire any guns from the pilot seat. Now that the Carrick has finished showing off, the old, whole new Carrick, <laughs> we'll check out the Pisces, the C8R and the C8X. Check out the C8R, this one's a fairly new ship, it got a lot of hype because it has a med bed. Okay, let's go on board, we'll go through first section, the glass door, the kitchen 
Oh, the, the storage off to the left there. You've got a fridge there you can put some things in. Sink. And then on the other side, you have the bed. This one you can only heal yourself at. You can't, can't revive, you can't regenerate there. So you can't see your imprint there. You've got a couple of little tiny sliding panels under here. Not sure what you're supposed to do with those. Put a couple of med pens in there or something. Not sure. You have a seat on the other side so someone can sit down. The medic, I guess. And the pilot up the front. Okay, we'll head on out. The standard C8X has been out for a pretty long time. A couple of seats on the side there. Area to put down some boxes. That's pretty much it. C8R, because I haven't flown that one before yet. Now let's check out this infamous arrow. The tiny, tiny little ship it would have be pretty hard to hit when it's flying around. Flying in much, but I'll I'll rent it just for just for the hell of it. There's a big carrot in the middle of the room. Showroom. What's down this side here? Anvil Gladiator. This one has the turret seat for the second crew member on the back. And the pilot seat up the front. It's got more landing gear. It's to be a lot more weight. A bit bigger ship, easy to hit. So it's a nice, pretty big ship. Obviously not as big as the 890. I quite like the the Carrick. Whether it's got different level, different class levels within the ship. You got the working level, or the engineering level, and then you got the habitation level, and then you got the up deck. What's going to happen to these guys? <laughs> going to get pushed out of the way? Or, oh, no. Off with the head. <laughs> yeah, a bit late to re respond there. Let's head on up through the ramp. Bit of vehicle in there pretty easily. Middle door here. To uh, they lift on one side on the left, yeah, docking collar on the other side. Open that up. Get some escape pods. And there's the hatch, docking port hatch. Stick our head out there. Head further into the cargo bay. You've got all the different areas down there where you can store cargo. There's a lift for each one. All these different compartments would make it a bit difficult, a bit annoying having to store or collect cargo from there. Now, where are we? We've got a main elevator. We've got some weapon racks on the left there. Go to the sub deck. Oh, I think that might be where I am now. Okay. Uh, yeah. Right, that's where I am now. Let's head out here. I think I remembered that there's a turret at the back here. 
a relatively symmetrical ship, Carrick. That looks like that's all there is on this level. The lift doesn't want to auto open, we have to press the button. And we'll go to the habitation deck. Up we go. down one side. Oh, I think someone else might be in here. Oh, yeah, there he is. Marching on the spot. Here we have the medical bays. And that's another great thing about the, the carrot. You can, you can revive on one of these beds. You have some, some, some plies that you can't do anything with. Down one side. the main room or the main regeneration bed so you can set your respawn to that bed we have the doctor's office on the side not quite sure what the purpose are of those areas maybe when we have NPCs on here they might be doing something there head back out again it's just left the carrot. What do we have here? Anything? No, it definitely looks like a door. It doesn't act like a door. Maybe we have some recreation rooms on the side here. I oh, know this one's a the boardroom, the conference room. Tiny little presentation screen there. Yeah. On the other side here, we have a billiard table, I think. I saw through the window. Yep. There's the cruise beds. Some lockers for them to store some things. Couch there. Oh, yeah, they got their own, their own shower. Well, I shouldn't say their own shower. Crew has a shower they can share. It's a fake mirror. Or oh, we're all vampires. <laughs> What's on the other side? That's a toilet. Another big mirror. A couple of toilets. Anything to be opened there. All right, let's head back out again. Let's further up this corridor. That way. Yep, go back over here. And this might be the captain's quarters. Yeah, it looks like the the captain's desk there. Can't do anything with it at the moment. And through to the, the bed. Teddy bear on the ground. A uh, lockers there. And the shower and a bath just for them. They can't really do much there. Another teddy. Chessboard. Drinks. A few books. And now we'll head to the bridge. This is the lower bridge. Some server rooms. In there, place some components. I think there's a bit in the middle here. There, there is. Avionics. That's where at one stage I saw something in there, but I don't know. Needs <laughs> to be empty now. Got three chairs there. You can walk out all onto the glass here. Whoa, there's a guy scooting around. <laughs> There's the upper deck, you can see the where you stand. And we'll head up, so there's a lift here. Doesn't want to work, oh there we go. The upper bridge. And we've got a couple of remote turret seats on the side. One on 
the other side. You can see the radar, the polar radar in the middle there. Can't do anything with it though. It'd be awesome when you can. And here's the bridge. You can, all you can do is you can control the ship from here, but you just stand there. You can't really do much. Oh, there's that rock climbing video again. Some more people scooting around on the ground. Now we're on the upper deck. Get to the technical deck. What's it got in here? Oh, hold on. Repair. Don't think that does anything. Drills and screwdrivers, spanners. Yeah. What's on the other side? Oh, that's right, this is the, the drones. Where you control the drones when they get implemented in the game. Don't think you can get in the seat. Yeah, into drone operator, but it won't let me in there. I guess that's where the drones are stored. Welcome to the Invictus ship. All of these vehicles. The other side is now the drone operator. Lost again. Oh, there's a, another lift. And there's the hangar. Go through the side door once open. Oh, toxic Zotti is back on again. There's the hangar bay. Have a look inside there. Can't really see much. Down the side, what do we have? Entry panel. Okay, so this is the port turret. I won't bother running down there. Just look at the end, just a seat. And that's the door to get to the other side of the ship. I think it's engineering room, maybe. Excuse room. Go to the other side, yeah. There's the starboard turret, look through a little window there. There it is. And engineering up the back. It's a bit of a weird layout here. You've got the ladder that you can just climb down. Or you can take that little tiny lift that was just next to me before. At the end there. Got a quantum jump drive. all the components up the side. And there's not much down these little side doors, there's just large components. I don't know whether you can do anything with those though. And it's the same on the other side. Pretty much just a mirror. Fuel tank it says. Now we'll go up the lift. Go up, come down. Get on there, go back up. I don't think it's any quicker than taking the ladder, but you can hold boxes on it maybe. Right, I think I've explored pretty much all the carrick now. Gone into the hangar bay. I think this carrot comes with a Pisces when you buy it. Can't use that computer. I'm not sure how you open the hangar. Unless you have to do it from the bridge. Got the service ladder. Oh, this takes you to the same place this lift takes you, I think. back up here. There we go, get on board. Go back down to the sub deck. That's the annoying part about it. 
There seems to be only one way in and out of the ship, and that's through the, the ramp out the front. Most ships of this scale usually have a lift that takes you to the outside. Okay, so we'll go look at the Hawk. This is one of my favourite ships, mostly because I, I like to be able to bedlog, and this has somewhat bedlog capabilities. There's the, yes, the cockpit seat comes down and slides back up again. Rent that one. Now those wings fold out. And you've got this little compartment at the back here. And this is the, the prisoner cell, but you can actually go in there and, and go to sleep, log out. This ship doesn't have any missiles, that's the that's one downside. But with current gameplay, I don't usually use missiles all that much. And when you've got all the repeaters on it, it uh, deals a nice amount of damage. And it's one of the fastest ships. There I am, in the, I'm in the, the prisoner cell. Wouldn't be a very comfortable sleep, I don't think, but... It allows you to log out, that's the main thing. And I don't know how you look at your Moby Glass when you've got yarns behind that bar, but it, it lets you. <laughs> yeah, you've got some, some guns just below the wings, and then some guns on the wings at the top. And now we're going to go look at the Terrapin. I think this, this ship has a lot of promise, but as a, as a solo player, it, it doesn't have enough firepower. And it's got a it's got a scanner in the middle, I think, but the scanner doesn't work at the moment, so it's just a, a seat. But apparently, it's got a lot of oh, it's going to have a lot of armor eventually. I'll just close the ramp. See what it looks like with the ramp closed. It looks like it should have a lot of a lot of armor. Got some nice thrusters on it. There's the, the support, support station. Turn the lights on, it's a bit dark. We've got a bed. We've got a toilet. Shower toilet. Open and close the door. We've got a gun rack and an armor rack. So there's a couple of seats on there, so crew can sit down. Not many crew, but... Alright. We'll skip forward to the lightning. You can't... You can't rent this ship. Uh, I don't think you can buy this ship. I don't think it's pliable in-game yet. Although you can... You can sneakily... Shoot a... A... NPC pilot with a gun and then steal the ship and then you can fly around in it. And there's the hurricane. There's a man-operated turret on the top. Apparently this ship isn't quite nimble enough or powerful enough solo, but if you get someone in that turret, you can deal a lot of damage. The gunner gets in the bottom turret there. We have the Valkyrie. This is it's a, it's a, it's a pretty pretty interesting ship. This one, like it's, it's got a lot of beds in it. You can store a lot of things in the back. There are quite a few turrets, and I, I like the layout of the. I mean, it makes it feel like it's a proper like drop ship. You've got the the ladder that you climb to get up the, to the top deck. And, Places to get some food. We'll take a look at the ramp. It's got to be enough ramp for a good few vehicles. And so you got a, a side door that you can deploy the machine gun. Won't let me do it in here. Oh, there we go. 
And so then you can give support out the, the side the with a yellow jacket. The other side's pretty much identical. You've got a door in there, you've got a Gatling gun. Now you'd think you would go down those side doors to get to the bridge. It's a bit deceptive, this ship. This is where all the the, uh, the crew members sit when they're waiting to be deployed. You've got a turret. And then up the other side, uh, and some more seats. And then to get to the bridge, you have to climb up this ladder. Oh, it'll let you. Try again. Here we go. And we have well, a bit of a sensitive uh, ladder there. You have a bed off to the right there. You have a bunk bed behind that. We got crew food access. I don't think that works at the moment. We got turret in the middle. On the other side, there's the toilet and the shower. Imagine the shower. Now the bunk bed. Got some remote turret seats. Keep going, and there's the cockpit. Not the, not the best visibility, but it's pretty good. There you go, so we'll head back out. Back out the ramp. We'll head over and we will have a look at the F7C Hornet. Now this is a single seater, and I haven't had much luck with this ship. I, I took it for a test flight and I didn't really do much damage at all and then I got a wing blown off and I got blown up but I think that's because I had a stock weapon. Okay and then we'll head over to the F7A Mark II Hornet. This one's a very rare ship. It was only sold to a, a small number of people. It's a crew of one and we've got a lot of firepower. I don't think I've flown in one of these before. You can't rent it, so it's just to just to look at. Now we'll head down to the basement. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot of people checking out the ballista. Must be uh, very interested in purchasing it. It's got a door up the side. The gunner's seat at the back. You got the driver's seat up the front. There's a weapon rack. Two weapon racks. That is the ballista. We'll head over and we've got the Centurion. This one's the, the more recent ground vehicle. It's got repeaters on the back. In one of my previous videos, I, I took out a, a NPC hammerhead with this. Took a almost a whole round of, of the repeater turret, but I got there. It's pretty much exactly the same as the ballista inside. You've got your weapon racks there, your turret seat at the back. And then there's the Spartan. I think the Spartan might have been the first one that was made. You got the yeah, there's crew seats at the back. And then the pilot seat, or the driver's seat up front. Some weapon racks. Chair. This one has a door that divides them. You can climb up that ladder. No. That'd be good if you just climb up there and get a better view. Now let's check out the concept ships. 
this first one is the Anvil Crucible Heavy Repair Ship. Let's have a quick look. Look how it works. Is this the front or is this the back? While fighters like the Hornet and Gladius have become synonymous with the they get the UDE ship in the middle of that and start repairing? That with the variety of operations over the vast of the Empire, yeah, maybe that's the probably the, the engines on this back end. And then it, yeah, it gets the ship in the middle on the other side and repairs it. Let's see what we've got next. What is that? That is the Anvil Legionnaire. Looks like it's got some pretty big thrusters on it. VTOL. Make out much more. Like some intake. All right, we'll move on to the next one. Now, what's this one? This is the Liberator transporter ship. Some pretty big thrusters on the back there. Should be able to get you out of atmosphere in your space pretty quick. Welcome to the Invictus ship. Can't see any guns anywhere. Maybe the, the ship's just that big. The guns look tiny. <laughs> I don't know. That looks like a docking port. That's just a vent. Man, that's... Yeah, is that a big ramp at the back? Alright, that's the concept ships. Okay, and that concludes day 5 and 6 of 2953 Invictus. I've had a bit of fun poking my head around, checking out the C8R for the first time, walking in there and having a look around at how much room you have. The Carrick definitely has a big presence in the middle of the showroom. It's a good, always a good bit of fun walking around it. The Terrapin, I very rarely get a chance to have a look inside the Terrapin. I think it has a lot of potential once they got all its mechanics in the game. will make it a bit more enjoyable to fly around. The Arrow, Ever small fast Anvil ship for EVP, doesn't really interest me all that much. And the, the Valkyrie has a nice, nice little layout in, on the interior. It gives it a really rugged feeling, which I, I quite like. There's not... There's not a whole lot of ships in the, the Anvil Aerospace. My my favourite ship is here, the, the Anvil Hawk. A nice nimble nimble ship. It's quite fast and has a, a ability to bedlog. No missiles though, but it's a, a small downside. But other than, other than that, there's there's not a whole lot of ships that I get excited about with the well, Anvil Aerospace. Like Let's see what they have to the show us in the future. And if you enjoyed the video or you found it helpful, going around the gallery, Please like and subscribe for more content. Okay, now I'm um, a bit thirsty after that. Let's uh, go over here and we can buy a drink. Hello? Hello? I'd like, I'd like a water, please. Water? What are, you, what are you guys looking at? What is over there? It's just a ball. Hello? Hello? Hello. Over here. One of you, just acknowledge that I exist. Someone, look at me. Hello. Okay. Let's see whether I get their attention again. Hello. Hello. Ah. Okay. I guess I'll buy a drink somewhere else.